All right, so let's solve for some forces uh, using what we know already about uh, drawing free body diagrams and writing force equations. Okay, so here's a situation, right? There's Tarzan, he's swinging from a vine, right? We've got a vine here, it's a 40 degree angle, and he's being held by this branch right here. And it's going to end up asking us, uh, his mass is 75 kilograms, find the weight, and then use the appropriate equation to find the tension in the vine, which is this vine, and then the tension in the loincloth. Okay, so first thing we got to do is we got to draw a free body diagram. So here's Tarzan. I'm going to represent him as a dot, right? So I've got this tree branch kind of pulling him this way, right? And so I'm going to call that FB for the force of the branch. And then I got the rope pulling right here, right? The, the vine. So I'm going to draw that pulling this way and I'll call that FT for tension. And then there's always FG, gravity, right? Okay, so... We need to take this, and I can't do anything yet because this is at an angle, right? So 40 degree angle, that's the same as drawing it right there, right? Because these two angles would be complementary. So, um, not complementary, but whatever. So, um, you could take this and put my 40 degree angle there. Now I can break this up into uh, its components, okay? So, let's do that here. So, I've got, let's start over, All right? So, here's... My dot that represents Tarzan, I have FB pulling this way, I have FG pulling down, and then I have tension, but it's broken up into two components, right? And so, because this one right here is pulling up along where the angle is touching, that's going to be my cosine component pulling up, right? When I go draw this here, this is touching, so this is going to be my cosine component, and this one would be my sine component. So let's draw that. So this will be FT cosine 40, and this will be FT sine 40. Now I have a free body diagram. Okay, so let's go write our X and Y equations. So we start with net force in the X is zero, net force in the Y is zero. Okay, so now we do our vectors, so X, just these two. And I know they're going to cancel out because Tarzan's not accelerating, right? So F, I'm just going to start with this one. FB will equal FT sine 40. So FB minus FT sine 40, right? These two are equal so that when I go put them over here, they subtract, right? So zero equals this one minus this one. Same thing for the Y. I know these two are going to cancel out. So I'm going to start with the one going up. It doesn't matter. FT cosine 40 minus FG. And so now I've got two equations. Now I can go solve. So in order to go solve for my unknowns, my unknowns are, I want to get tension and I want to get how much the loincloth is pulling, right? So this one has two unknowns. Can't go do that yet. This one also has two unknowns, but I know how to get FG if I know the mass, right? Because I know that the force due to gravity is mass times G, where G is 9.8, but we just round to 10 newtons per kilogram. So if I have a mass of 75 kilograms, that means that FG is 75 times 10, or 750 newtons. So I can plug that's 750 newtons in right there. So let's go ahead and solve now. So I'm gonna take this equation and I'm gonna rewrite it, right? Because remember our equation, the only equation part is this. So it says zero equals that minus that. So I'm gonna add FG over so that it says FG equals FT cosine 40, All right? So let's rewrite it. FG equals FT cosine 40. And I already said FG was 750. So 750 equals FT cosine 40. All right. So now if I want to get FT by itself, so that's being multiplied. So I can divide by cosine 40 to move that to the other side to cancel it out, right? So now my equation says FT equals 750 over cosine 40. So let's go do that. 750 divided by 
cosine 40 and I'm in degrees, 979.055. So I'll call it 979.1.1. All right. So now let's go do the other unknown, which is this, right? So here's my equation. And I'm going to rewrite this. I'm going to move this one that's being subtracted. I'm going to add it to the other side to make it easier to look at. So if I add that over, it would say FT sine 40 equals FB. Okay, well, oh, I have two unknowns. But wait a minute. I already figured out what FT was. So if I just take FT from here and I plug it in down there, I can get FB. Okay, so if I just take 979.1 and multiply it by sine 40, that'll give me FB. All right, so I go to my calculator. I've got it right there. So I'm just going to go times sine 40. That gives me F. B is equal to 629.3 newtons. So I've solved for both of those. Okay, so let's do a different one. All right, so here's another one. I got a skier skiing down a hill, and I'm going to end up solving for uh, the two components of the weight, and then the friction and the air resistance. Right, so I'm going to call those one thing, right? So let's start with drawing a free body diagram. So there's obviously gravity, right? And then there's going to be friction, right? Because it doesn't say it's not frictionless, or it doesn't say it's frictionless, I should say. And then there's also going to be a normal force. And so again, this is at an angle, right? But now I have it on an incline. So if you remember stuff on an incline, you have to take the thing that's going this way. If this is FG, this is going to turn into, this will be FG because my angle's here. This will be FG cosine theta. And this one will be FG sine theta. Okay, so let's draw this. And then we can go solve for our stuff. So here we go. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to draw my incline just to make it easier to look at. I'm going to draw that with a different color. So when I do my free body diagram, uh, I have friction, I have a normal force, and then my components of gravity, this one's going to be Fg cosine 35, and this one is going to be Fg sine 35. Okay, so let's go write an equation. So net force in the x is zero because it's a constant speed. That force on the Y is zero because he's not accelerating into the air magically. So in the X dimension, these two cancel out. So I'll do FF minus that. So FF minus FG sine 35. And in the Y dimension, I'll do normal minus that one. So normal minus FG cosine 35. Okay, so uh, does it give us the skier's mass? 90 kilogram skier, right? So if I see 90 kilogram skier, if mass is 90 kg, then FG is 90 times 10, right? Because FG is mass times G. So FG is 900 newtons. All right. So Let's solve for the one with F. Well, they both have FG, so whatever. So let's go just pick one. I'll start with the Y first. So I'm going to plug my 900 into those two. Remember, here's my equation, right? Here's my equation. So let's do the Y one first. So I'm going to add that over. So FG cosine 35 equals FN. Well, FG is 900, so 900 cosine 35 equals Fn. Yay, I don't have to do any algebra. So 900 cosine 35. Let's do that. I'm in degrees. 900 cosine 35. 737.23. So my normal force is 737.2 newtons. I'm just going to round to one decimal place. All right. 
So let's do my x equation. So again, I'm going to add this one over. So fg sine 35 equals friction. So I already know what fg is again, so it's going to be 900 cosine 30. Whoa, sine. What the hell am I doing? All right, or sine. 900 sine 35 equals ff. So let's do the other one. 900 sine 35 equals 516.2. So my frictional force is 516.2 newtons. Bam. Okay, easy. Not too complicated. All you do, right, follow the same steps. You can draw the diagram and you can write the equations. The rest of this is just algebra, right? So uh, should be pretty easy.